back with another video. Uh, this is my entry video for the 2022 Cancer group build. And uh, this year we're going to dedicate it to a gentleman that lost his fight last year. It was a uh, Bill King. Uh, he had a uh, he was a member of the modeling community and diecast community. His channel name was and is, because uh, it's still up, uh, WWK Diecast and more. When Bill passed away uh, last year, I was going to do a tribute build. And I think Bill passed away, uh, I don't know whether it was like at the end of winter or middle of winter or it was at a time where I couldn't really paint outside. Um, because I knew what I wanted to do and I knew it required a paint that I just couldn't use inside the house so I thought well I'll just wait till spring and then we'll uh, do the tribute build to Bill but then when spring came around I thought well why not just wait until the uh, cancer build the group build and just uh, do it then so that's what we're going to do but as you can see here, we have the AMT 69 Cougar, and then we have a Hot Wheel. This is my Hot Wheel from when I was a kid. I still have my Hot Wheels. Uh, well, my brother had them for a while, and then uh, when he moved back to Ohio, he gave me the case and said, uh, you keep them for me, and then uh, uh, you have them for a while. So uh, back in 60, well, I think 67, 68, when Hot Wheels first came out. We used to get Hot Wheels every Christmas. My mom would put three or four in uh, my stocking and in my brother's stocking. So we got anywhere from six to eight Hot Wheels every Christmas. And of course, she'd always always put an orange, a big orange in the stocking and a bunch of other little, sometimes it was matchboxes along with the Hot Wheels. <clears throat> always uh, something little, you know, a little cool uh, to, to play with. But uh, fast forward, uh, we still have our Hot Wheels. Uh, this is mine. This is from 1969. This Hot Wheel is called the Nitty, Nitty Gritty Kitty. <laughs> Get it right. Uh, it was part of a series that Hot Wheels came out with called the Spoilers. And uh, they had uh, a Cougar. They had uh, a Mustang. They had a Camaro. They had a Barracuda. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else I had. Um, see, they had the uh, Boss Hoss, which was the Mustang. They had the King Cuda, which was uh, the Barracuda. They had the Heavy, the Heavy Camaro. They had the Nitty Gritty Kitty. Those are the ones I can remember, but. Um, it was a cool series, and basically, they took their regular Hot Wheel and souped it up, put bigger tires in the back, blower, of course, no hood. The um, paint job was the uh, Spectra uh, Flame paint job, which is like an anodized kind of look to it. Um, and then uh, they, it came with little stickers. You can put numbers uh, on the door, and I think maybe the stripes were also stickers you can put on the car if you wanted to can't remember if the stickers came on the car or whether they gave you the option to put them on yourself i don't remember but i know the stickers for the doors uh you could uh stick on your car but um yeah so i thought it would be cool to uh, build the nitty-gritty kitty in 125th scale so that's why you see the amt um 69 uh, Cougar kit. So what we're going to have to do is uh, obviously we're not going to be using the hood. Uh, this kit here comes with a uh, 429 and a tunnel ram with two fours. Uh, we're going to have to come up with a blower and scoop and blower belt because the nitty gritty had a blown engine in it. So I think I have them in my junk box. If not, I'll have to download an STL and Print it out in resin. We'll make our own blower and scoop and stuff. Uh, we'll have to make our front spoiler ourselves and our uh, rear, rear 
spoiler. And then we'll have to do something with the exhaust because all of the uh, spoilers had the exhaust coming out uh, uh, behind the uh, front tire. So we'll have to uh, come up with that. As you can see here, it's red. That's Spectre Flame uh, paint, uh, which again is like an anodized red kind of color, a metal looking red. Um, it has a, a white interior, so we're going to do the same there. The windows are tinted blue. I'll see if I can't figure out how to do that. And uh, the engine bay is uh, the body color. And um, the wheels I have, uh, I have an STL file that are that trademark Hot Wheel mag. Uh, and they come with 20 inch low profile tires, I believe. Uh, so I'll print that out and we might run that on the Cougar. I don't know. We'll see when it comes time to actually put this together. Uh, so we'll have the wheels uh, looking pretty much like a Hot Wheel. Um, the, the front and rear spoiler, that's just flat stock. We'll just cut and shape it to uh, what we see on the um, Hot Wheel. And then uh, uh, the striping we'll have to paint on. But uh, I, I think it shouldn't be uh, too difficult to turn the AMT kit into uh, this Hot Wheel. I think it'll be uh, pretty cool. It doesn't want to stay up here. It keeps wanting to roll off. But I think it'll be pretty cool. So uh, this kit, uh, let me get this out of the way. The uh, AMT kit's been around forever and ever. That's an old tooling. Uh, it's been around ever since I can remember. Um, and uh, this version comes molded in uh, kind of like a beige. Comes molded in color. Now, I know the build, or the group build doesn't start until October, right? But I started this kit now. I, I haven't put nothing together. It's, all, it's still in the box. But what you don't see in the box is the body, the frame, the firewall, and the radiator wall. And the reason why I took all those out is because I painted them. And the reason why I wanted to paint this kit now and not wait till October is because usually October, at least here in Northeast Ohio, our weather gets really funky. Um, sometimes we get a lot of rain. Sometimes we get a lot of uh, cold temperatures to where it's not conducive to be shooting lacquer outside. Um, it, it, it's just an unpredictable month as far as our weather. And this month, well, this week, uh, we're, we have beautiful weather. It's just 70s, sunny, low humidity. It's just perfect weather. So I thought, now is the time for me to get this kit out of my stash. Uh, and get it painted now so come October I don't have to worry about uh, the body it will already be painted and all the pieces parts that have to be the body color will be painted so we can just start assembly and doing our thing we're going to do our best to get it looking like uh, my uh, Hot Wheel from 1969 and um, I think it'll be fun and I'll show you the body in October um, it's just going to sit here until October rolls around and then we can start on the kit and then I'll show you the body then um, But I'm really happy with it and it looks really really close to my Hot Wheel. It's really cool I got a kick out of it when I put my Hot Wheel beside it. It's like boy. This is really close and uh, Yeah, I'm really happy with it Okay um, that's what we're going to do, and uh, thanks, Bob, for ho hosting the uh, uh, group build. Uh, you know, every year I participate because it's it's definitely a worthy cause and <laughs> something I know a lot about. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you.